In tonight's featured segment, we look at an unusual theater. Disabled people have won access to restaurants, buses, campuses, and even parking spaces. But how often do you see a disabled actor on stage? One Santa Barbara director says not often enough. And over the past nine years, has developed a one-of-a-kind theater. It's a theater with no barriers, whether you're disabled or abled, whether you're on stage or in the audience. Valerie Zavala reports. Eight years ago, Tammy Turner was an aspiring actress at the Pacific Conservatory for the Performing Arts. Then, at age 17, she broke her neck in a gymnastics accident. She's been paralyzed from the chest down. A friend suggested she audition for Access Theater. I was really hesitant at first because I thought that the actress probably just got on stage and wanted the audience to pity them or feel sorry for them. But she soon discovered Access Theater is not like that. Is this theater for the handicapped? No. <laughs> this is not theater for the handicapped. Um, Access Theater is a theater that can, not a theater that can't. And it's very important to me because I'm, I can do what I've always wanted to do since the age of 10. I can now act. Dory, I know you did not mean the things you just said. Access Theater excludes no one. Both handicapped and non-handicapped actors fill the roles. And both the hearing and non-hearing fill the seats. <laughs> This is Access Theater's latest production, The Legend of the Crystal Waters. It is an original musical fantasy about a villain who is trying to rob a planet of its precious water. On this stage, sign language is not a service rendered from the wings. It is an integral part of the story. If everyone in our society spoke as well as signed, um, this whole uh, communication barrier known as deafness wouldn't really exist. Um, so we create a land where we have dissolved that barrier but dissolving barriers is easier on stage than off. For years, handicapped actors were limited more by public attitudes than their own disabilities. But Access Theater is changing those attitudes. Deaf actress Lori Hennessy has an example. I had two good friends of mine, and they said about Cora, played by Tammy, wow, she was so good, even in a wheelchair. And I said, yeah, they're the same. It also opened the eyes and minds of school children who were treated to this special performance. You'd say, oh, well, they're deaf, they can't be played because they can't talk or anything, but they can because they have sign language. People have to show them what they can do. Believe in yourself, and you will be able to accomplish more than you would have thought possible. Access Theater has been nationally recognized and awarded, but its future is not as secure as director and founder Rod Latham would like. He would like to see an endowment established. He would like to travel more with shows and tap into television audiences. Still, donations and grants have sustained the company through nine years and 14 productions. And audiences, says Latham, are growing dramatically. It's a real two-way street with Access Theater. A lot of people think, oh, it's great for disabled people, great for deaf people. It's just as great, if not greater, for those of us who are temporarily able-bodied or hearing um, in the way that it changes our perceptions and makes the whole world much more uh, mainstreamed and unified. Access Theater recently won another award, this one from the Governor's Committee for Employment of the Handicapped. I'm Jeffrey Kay. Thanks for watching and have a good weekend.